Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to read and understand Google Analytics. Now, up to this point, you've probably seen that most of my tutorials are geared around Divi and WordPress. This tutorial is actually gonna be applicable to anyone who has Google Analytics installed on their website. So we're gonna cover the basics. Google Analytics is very robust, but I'm gonna show you basically what I use it for, and I'm gonna just give you a basic overview of how to read page views, check out stats, see where your traffic's coming from, and just mainly give you kind of a rundown of the main things you need to know. So. I just previously released a tutorial on how to set Google Analytics up. So if you haven't seen that and you don't know how to do that, please refer back to that. But once you have your account set up, you're gonna to go to your login screen, which I'll make sure I have a link to on the show notes, and you're gonna click sign in, and then you're gonna click analytics. Okay, and once you're signed into your analytics account, you're gonna see a general overview of whatever site you're on currently. So you can click the top left here, and you're gonna see all of your accounts. I have three accounts under this Gmail that I have associated with my stuff. So I have my main site, my joshhall.co, I have my tutorial site, my demo zone. So I'm on my joshhall.co site, and I'm actually gonna give you guys a walkthrough of my page views, and so you're gonna see real-time stats, real traffic, and everything that I've done up to this point. So what you're gonna see initially is an overview. So you'll see, generally this shows like the last seven days, but you can set this to maybe last 90 days. You can see who's active on your site right now. So for example, I'm on my homepage, and if I click to my tutorials page, check this out. I'm gonna to click to my tutorials, and I go back to my analytics. This should change here very quickly. So again, you see me going from the homepage to the tutorials page. And then you can see right there, it just shifted. It, it showed that there's a user on my tutorials page. If you scroll down, you'll see some other stuff. You can see some basics. Um, you can see what popular pages are over the past few days. Uh, there's quite a few things you can look at here, but I wanna show you kind of where the, the meat and potatoes is for all of the Google Analytics stuff. And that is over here on the left. Under reports, we have some main areas here. I'll say by way of preface that I don't even look at conversions. You can do a lot with Google Analytics, like with targeting and ads and things like that, but I just wanna show you the basics of how to look at page views and all that stuff. So initially, you can go to real time, which again is basically what I just showed you there. You can see who's looking at your site and it'll actually show you on the map. So you can see my computer right here is looking at the front or the tutorials page on my site. That's generally all I look at for real time, but let me show you the big three. There is audience, acquisition, and behavior. Another way you can explain these is audience, who is looking at your site, acquisition is how they're getting to your site, and behavior is what they're doing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start from the bottom up. We're gonna start with behavior. This is one of my favorite sections of Google Analytics because this shows us our page views. So if I click into site content, you can see it gives me an option for all pages. So we're gonna click that. Okay, and with all pages clicked, I don't know why they bury it there. I don't know why they make it so hard to get to because it took me forever to figure this out because I didn't have any formal training, but all pages is gonna show you all of the pages of your website. So from here, what I recommend doing is setting your date. So you can see right here that this is just set for the past week, but let me do maybe two months out. I'm recording this on December the 27th. Let's look at November through December. We're gonna click apply. And this will show me all the traffic. And again, so I'm, you know, I'm being transparent with you. I'm showing you all the traffic that I've had on my site, my joshhall.co. This is what's really, really useful is you can see all of your most popular pages. If you see this dash right here, this backslash, that means that's your homepage. So you can see that I have over 3,000 views on my homepage in this period right here from November 1st to December 27th. You can see that tutorials are my next most popular page, then products, and then you can see all the tutorials from there and other pages. Now, I could go down here and I could look at more pages as well. I could set it to 50, and I could see my top 50 most popular pages all through there. Now let me give you a walkthrough of the next most important section, which are these finer details. So there's a big difference between page views and unique page views. And the way I understand it, and again, I'm not an expert on Google Analytics, but I'm gonna kinda of tell you how I understand it. Unique page views are per device. So let's say I'm on one device and I look at three different pages and then I go back to those pages and keep on looking. Well, it's only gonna show me three unique page views. 
it might show 10 or 15 actual page views because my same device is scrolling around those pages again, but it's only gonna be unique page views here. So you really are more interested in unique page views as to um, the initial page views. But it's good to know, you know, you might get recurring visitors and returning visitors. And that's where page views are going to stack up more if you get more readers on, you know, if somebody is coming back to my same tutorial multiple times, it's going to show up here and not here. Average time on page is obviously how much time they're spending there. Um, I don't really worry about entrances at all. Bounce rate and exit are very important. So again, no expert here, but the way I understand bounce rate is that bounce rate is when people come to your site and they look at one page and they're gone. Now, if you have a landing page style site, like just a one pager, and they go on there and your only option is to fill out a contact form or to call, then it's not a big deal. You know, you're probably gonna want people to either call and get off your site. But in my case, I generally don't want people to look at just one page. I want them to look at more blog posts, more tutorials, ideally more products, and things like that. So I can see that I have a bounce rate on my front page of 41%. That means people are going to my front page and they're exiting the site, they're bouncing off. That's not too bad, I don't know what industry standard is, but if you're getting a bounce rate of like 80 or 90%, that's probably not good. Again, unless you're just a one page website, but if you have a big site and you want a lot of traffic, that's probably not a good bounce rate percentage. Exit, however, is when people are moving around your site and then they exit that page. You know, a lot of times you'll see exit percentage high on a contact page because people are going throughout the site, then they contact that business and then they exit. So that's basically what that is. Exit is when people are going through numerous pages and then they end off on that page. So again, you can look at your percentages through all their, all those as well. So this is probably my most fascinating and, and favorite part of Google Analytics. Again behavior, what people are doing, go to site content, all pages. Now, one thing, other thing I wanna show you here too is that, and again, you can just change the date so I could look at, let's let's see, I launched my site on August 16th. Let's look all together, I can click apply, and then boom, you can see all of the page views, all of the details here, and you can get a better feel for the year. And it'll show you here, you know, how many page views and the spike. So if you do a big campaign, you can see generally a spike of traffic. So the other cool thing I wanted to show you here is if you click behavioral flow, this is gonna show you generally what people are doing when they land on your website. So you can see here that a lot of people are hitting my homepage and from there, there, let's look at this one actually, let's look at starting pages. A lot of people are hitting homepage, then they're going to my tutorials, then they're going to products, then they're going to um, my Elegant Themes blog series, they're going to sign ups and different things like that. So this actually will show you the average percentage of people on your site. And of course you can look at this in more detail. So those are the main two things I look at in behavioral flow. Let's move to acquisition. Acquisition is how they're getting to your site. So I often will look at channels and what channels are. Now again, I've set the date for when I launched my site. So I'm looking at you know the whole year till now. And you can see all these spikes too. You can see you know, when you have kind of spikes of traffic. So I can see that the majority of my traffic is coming from social media. Some is coming from direct, which would be when people type in joshhall.co. Referral is if it's coming from another site, and we'll drill down into these in a little bit. And then organic search is if somebody is typing maybe Josh Hall Divi or Josh Hall Web Design or something like that. So let's look into these a little further. Okay, so I click social and I can see that the majority of my traffic is coming from Facebook. So quite a bit from YouTube and then there's other little outlets that again, I don't really utilize at this point. So I'm not surprised that those, you know, don't have more. Let's go back to channels and let's take a look at referrals because this is the other big one. Uh, if I click referral, this is gonna show me the other websites that have actually directed traffic to my site. So you can see that this site, Divi Theme Examples, has referred a lot of traffic over. Thank you guys for that. My business site in Transit Studios, of course, has a lot of traffic coming from uh, coming over from that. And then, of course, Elegant Themes, who I blog for, you know, getting quite a few hits from there. And you can see these other sites here that, again, maybe I have links on or people have heard about the site and are going over. So I gotta thank everyone here who's uh, sending traffic my way. So that's really all I look at under acquisition. Again, acquisition is how people are getting to the site. Behavior was what they're doing. And now we're going to look into audience, which is who is looking at our site. 
This has some of my very favorite sections of Google Analytics. And we're gonna start off with, uh, let's go ahead and do Geo, because this is my favorite. If you click under Geo and you can click Location, you can see here, it's going to highlight all of your traffic and it's gonna show you where the majority of your traffic is coming from. So you can see most of my traffic is coming from the US, being that I'm in the US, a lot from the UK, several from Canada, Australia, and then it kind of drills down from there. Now, this is what's even cooler, is not only can you see it down here, but you can highlight over these and you can click into it. So if I click into the states here, I can see the darker states have the most traffic. So a lot of traffic here, quite a bit of traffic in Texas, a lot in California, quite a bit in New York. Now what's even cooler is it shows you here by state. And then let's go one step further, check this out. If I click into Ohio, I can see all of my traffic by device. So this is obviously where I'm located, where you're seeing the biggest circle. But every time somebody looks at my site, from a device, Google Analytics is picking it up. Kind of creepy, right? It's crazy how they can track all this stuff. But this shows me every single county and every city that I get traffic from. So one thing that's really important, so of course I live in Grove City, it's showing me a lot there. One thing that's important about this is if you're doing this for a client, and let's say they're marketing around their state, well, if they do postcards or certain digital marketing campaigns to certain cities or counties, you can look at that here and you can see what's working. You can see how much traffic is being you know, driven to the site. So this is one of my favorite things about Google Analytics is to look at geo, and you can look at all that. Now let's look at demographics. You can go to overview and you do have to enable this when you set up a Google Analytics site or a site on your Google Analytics account, you do need to enable demographics. So I can see here that the age range of the typical user for my site is mainly between 25 and 34 and then just below that 35 to 44. Then it kind of goes down from there and you can see that the uh, the majority of my traffic is male with a smaller percentage being female right there. So that's a really useful one. And the other thing I wanna show you here is under technology, you can look under browser and OS, and this is gonna show you what browsers are checking out your site. So again, year to date, since I've set up my site, most people, thank goodness, are looking at Chrome, which is what I use and is what is most reliable. The next most popular is Safari. So where this is useful is if I do a CSS effect and it looks great on Chrome, but it doesn't look good on Safari, I need to, re to be remindful that, you know, I've got a lot of people still looking on Safari on the site. Next is Firefox, and then of course the other ones are down here. Thank goodness Internet Explorer is only 114 out of the whole year. So that's a good one to know. The last thing I wanna show you here in this is you can look at your mobile, which is really, really cool. So. This will show you how much of your traffic is desktop as opposed to mobile and tablet. Now, for me, it's very, it's not surprising that I'm getting mostly desktop traffic. And I prefer that because I'm selling products, because I'm doing tutorials where people are most likely on their laptops and their main computers. Of course, I'm going to be getting a lot of desktop traffic. Uh, mobile is the next highest, which again, you're going to want to make sure your site is mobile friendly. And where this is really critical is let's say you do a site for a pizza shop. Well, they're probably going to have more mobile traffic than desktop. So you want to make sure, you know, you can look at the percentage here and say, you know what, maybe I need to tweak the mobile design to be more important than the desktop. And then tablet, I've found it's funny across most all the sites that I manage, most sites have less and less tablet traffic. So that's kind of interesting, but that's a really good thing to know. And then from here, you can actually look at the devices even further. So it gets even more creepy. You can see here that the majority of my traffic, mobile traffic is on iPhones and iPads. And then you can see it drills down from here and you can see certain versions of each phone here and how important and how popular they are. So those are some of the main areas that I look at. That's really all I look at, guys, in the way of Google Analytics. Most of my clients just want to know, you know, who's looking at their site, how they got there, and then what they're doing when they're on the site. Last thing I want to show you here is if you click down here to actually let me um let me click off this. You can go down here to admin. If you watched my setup video, you saw how to add a site, which is right here. You can go to your administrative area. You're gonna click that to set up a new account. The other thing that you can do is, let's say you wanna share this property or share, maybe you don't wanna share the whole account, but you just wanna share the website to a colleague or something so they can look at the analytics. I do this for a lot of my clients. If they wanna be able to log in and see their analytics 
I'll, I will actually set them up as a user and you can do that right here. You can just go to user management and then from here you can just click add. You can see I've got my other Gmail associated with this and I can add a user right here by email. This will notify them and then you can give them certain permissions. So it's very, very useful and as long as they have certain permissions checked, then they'll be able to log in and see the same analytics. So guys, that's just a walkthrough of how to read and understand Google Analytics. I hope this has helped. Again, this is just kind of scratching the surface, but generally this is what I do. I just look at real-time stats sometimes and then generally you know, who's on my site, how they got there, and I, my personal favorite is to look under site content under behavior here and to look at the pages to see what pages are the most popular. So hope this has helped guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy finally, hopefully being able to understand Google Analytics. Cheers, everybody.